Hi, and welcome back to Mikey's Lab. Today we're taking a look at an exciting news article that I read about yesterday. And I just want to pose some questions and put some information in your head. So lab code up. We're going to learn something today. This article deals with the premise that an element called rubidium, when brought almost to zero degrees Kelvin, appears to have negative mass. There has not been a lot of peer review on this yet, as it was just announced a few months ago. But it's kind of exciting to think about. And what does that actually mean? An element having negative mass means that it reacts in the direct opposite way that you believe that it should. So if you push on it, it pushes backwards. It also means that gravity would have an inverse effect on this particular element. As you may or may not be aware, it was not that long ago that the Large Hadron Collider in CERN announced direct evidence of the Higgs boson particle. Now what this particle is, is this is the particle that generates the Higgs field. Okay, so what's the Higgs field? The Higgs field is a field that all particles interact with and it is believed to give those particles mass. So the question then becomes for me, what happens to a rubidium atom when it's interacting with the Higgs field? Because if it has negative mass at almost zero degrees Kelvin, then its interaction has to be at its base level very different than normal matter. The other question that arises for me is if this particle has negative mass, does that mean that gravity has no effect on it? Or does that mean that gravity has a repulsionary effect on it? These are all questions that, that are very new and there, there's not a lot of research available at this point. But I wanted to put the question forward to you guys. And I wanted to see what you thought about this. Because for me, there's still so many questions. I'm working on getting access to the actual article. It is a subscription-based service for me to actually get this, uh, to get the study. But I want to get that for us, and I want to explore that for us. But in the meantime, I just couldn't resist posting. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me why. Right? Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, there's that little bell button beside the subscription icon that will make sure that you are notified of every video I post.